everyone, welcome back to my channel. Today's video is going to be an Easter inspired tutorial. I like to do holiday-ish inspired tutorials um, quite often. I've done one for the, hol for the holidays like Christmas and whatnot, so I did like red and green and gold and those kind of colors and then I did one for Valentine's Day and I just did one for St. Patrick's Day not too long ago since we are, since Saint, since we just passed St. Patrick's Day not too long ago. They are all going to be linked down below for you and I wanted to do kind of like maybe like a light kind of tutorial, maybe some pastels and I just think when I think of Easter I think of just pastel colors because it's springtime. If you have not already don't forget to subscribe to my channel. I upload five days a week Monday through Friday and I would love to have you come join because once we hit 250 subscribers we are going to be doing a giveaway. So let's go ahead and get started. I am going to prime my eyes with a little bit of MAC Painterly Paint Pot, but I wanted to talk to you guys. So, um, when I'm filming this, it's April 5th, and you're not going to be seeing this until the 10th, okay? But on April 4th, which was for me yesterday, I made a... <laughs> okay, this sounds really weird. Um, I was really bored, okay? And I never thought I was going to do this, but I made a TikTok. <laughs> And this is not, I usually, I always thought TikTok was like, not to be rude, but a little kind of stupid, childish, and just, I just didn't think that I would be into something like that. Logan and I did the flip the, flip the switch challenge, and then we started making videos of our dog, and I thought those were really fun, and I kept um, just making videos and stuff, and you know... I didn't think much of it, and I logged on to TikTok today. I'm just gonna set it with just a little bit of like a creamy eye, cream colored eyeshadow. Logged on today, and we are at almost like 60 followers, like in one day, and that's so weird. And so people are like loving the whole dog video idea. So we changed my username because originally just my name, and you know I just did it because I thought we were gonna make like one video and call it good. And it ended up turning into a lot more. Yeah, this is our page. <laughs> if you want to look at some cute dog videos, I like watching these cute dog videos. I'm not really into like the dancing, anything like that, but I really like um, doing these like dog videos. So this is our dog. He's a Pitbull, Shih Tzu, Bulldog, Bichon Freeze mix. It's weird. He looks like a pit bull with really short legs. We are cranking out videos, so if you want to go see some really cute dog videos, <laughs> that's they're up there for you. I will have his username listed down below if you are a TikTok fan. I can't really play any for you because I'm going to get happy written because of the music, but if you want to go over there and just kind of check them out, I mean, like, we are just, like, shocked. So... If you want to go over there and check them out, do it. We'd love for you to come check out some puppy videos. <laughs> Shameless plug there, right? So we're gonna, we're, I want to do something pastel. So I'm gonna tell, show you all the palettes that I pulled out. I have no idea what I'm gonna do for this look. And I've kind of been thinking, and I want it to be something different than my Morphe 35i tutorial series, which I will link down below. It's just where I, I took that palette and I did five looks with it. This is what this palette looks like. I don't want to do anything using this palette because I just did a whole series using it and I don't really want, I really want to use other products I own. I pulled out five palettes. I didn't really know where I wanted to go with this. So the first one I picked out was the Too Faced Life's a Festival palette. I you showed this in my ranking, my Too Faced palettes video. I'll link that down below for you. This is what this one looks like. I didn't know. I mean, I like this pink in here. It's a very nice, cute purple. I pulled out the Riviera palette. I've done a palettes we all forgot about series video on this. So I'll link that down below. I also have the Gimme Butterflies palette from ColourPop. Oh, I'm really uh, yellow. Because I'm showing all this pink stuff, I think. Pulled this one out too. I did have a review on this one. I'll link it down below. And then I have the BH Cosmetics Color Festival palette. Uh, this one's... I just didn't know. Okay, we got some cute, like, lighter shades in here. I have a review on this. I'll link it down below. <laughs> and then I picked out the Morphe Jeffree Star palette. Hmm. 
which I have a five looks one palette tutorial series and I'll link that down below for you too. Wow, we're gonna have a lot of links and stuff. So if you are bored at home, um, go check them out. They, this is gonna be fun, I hope. I hope it's not too crazy. I think I'm gonna start out with Gimme Butterflies. I think I'm just gonna hop around to a lot of different palettes. Keep in mind, you don't have to own every single one of these palettes in order to create the look. You can create it with your products that you have at home. And always know that with my tutorials, don't feel obligated to purchase what I am using. This is just my collection and I am taking advantage of what I have. But use what you have. I also cleaned my makeup brushes. What a wonderful feeling, seriously. I feel so accomplished. <laughs> I'm gonna go into the Gimme Butterflies palette. I got this for Christmas from my friend Michaela. This is so beautiful. I did a review on this and it is just so good. I love ColourPop shadows. I'd love to get more palettes from them. But I feel like none really like catch my eye enough where I'm like, oh my god, I need that. They're always like, oh yeah, that's cute, that's cute. And I wanna, when I see something that I wanna buy, I wanna be like, wow, that is so awesome. And this, she got me for Christmas, and I'm like, oh my god, that's gorgeous. I am talking way too much. Oh my goodness. <laughs> I mean, between the whole dog on TikTok thing. So I'm going to go into Woke, which is this light pink here. I kind of want to do something a little pink, a little purple. Just, just, I don't know. Because I feel like I've done quite a few bluish looks lately. I'm just going to apply this in my crease. I'm using a Morphe M441. I am really honestly enjoying making videos on TikTok though. I know it may sound crazy, but I always thought that TikTok was just kind of for teenage, just for teenagers who wanted to dance around in crop tops. I don't know. I didn't know anything about it. Seriously, now that I'm in it and like there's so many like fu just funny videos to watch. I actually am beginning to enjoy. Like I'm really like beginning to like appreciate the app. I'm just kind of, I don't know. I want to do something pinky and purpley. I think I'm gonna do go into the Color Festival palette from BH Cosmetics, and I'm gonna use the shade Pop. This is like a lilac color, kind of pink, kind of lavender. It's kind of one of those shades where it's like in between. I'm just gonna use a smaller crease brush. Yeah, I did. I did a review on this palette like over a year ago, and I felt like <laughs> so shy during the whole thing. I was just kind of starting out. I was at like my old apartment too. But I'm just gonna kind of work this into my crease, like a little lower. I talk about doing this a lot, but I don't want to go too dark with this look. And I don't think I'm gonna be using all of the palettes that I pulled out either. I just wanted enough inspiration. I mean, people use this color on the lower lash line. It's called Haze. Mm, that's more neon though. Yeah, that's a little too neon, I think. Does Jeffree Star have a pale green in here? No. It's all these kind of greens. That's just not the look I'm going for here. I have so many palettes. <laughs> and I'm like, oh, just nothing's working for me today. Nothing's working. I'm such a diva right now. What about Jawbreaker? We could use this one. I wish it was more like of a mint green. So I'm going to go with the pencil brush. We're using the Jeffree Star Jawbreaker palette. And we're going to go in with Cute. This is such a nice palette. It's more expensive than what I would usually spend on an eyeshadow palette. But it's I, I've actually gotten quite a lot of use out of it. This is the kind of a color you need to build up for the lower lash line. I have noticed this with other kind of pastels and whatnot. They don't always go well on the lower lash line. But I think with a little bit of liner, lashes, we'll add maybe some glitter, and it'll be good to go. I don't know. I think we're going to go into a little bit of Fair Play, which is this one, and just ever so slightly deepen that up a bit. I'm going to go with a Morphe M330. ColourPop shadows are just are so nice. As you can tell, I'm like barely tapping this on. There we go. 
like that. See, I think this is one of those eyeshadows that just, they're, they're just perfectly pressed, in my opinion. They're not too rough. They're not too um, hard pressed. They're not too soft. But when you pick it up, you don't have to really like grind your brush in, anything like that. And I really appreciate that in a product, personally. I'm gonna go way up close for you. Excuse the acne. This is what we're working with right now. I think I'm gonna go back into, I can't even like organize my palettes that I have out right now. I'm gonna go back into Jawbreaker and I just need a highlight shade. So I'm gonna go in with Virgin, which is the matte white. That's my favorite, favorite, favorite type of shadow is a nice matte white for the crown. For the brow bone if you're new here. How have you all been doing during this whole quarantine? I don't want to say quarantine because I don't like quarantine. Self-isolation. There we go. I hope you all are doing very well during this. Staying positive and just keeping your spirits light. Keep, keep lots of distractions near. I find myself really doing that a lot. It's actually been helping, especially with all the stress going on. Um, I don't know. I just... I've kind of gotten in my own little routine. I've just begun to appreciate that. And I feel like I'm getting a lot of stuff done. Like I have cleaned so much. Logan is deemed like an essential worker. He's kind of like an independent contractor type thing. He's usually gone at work most days, like Monday through Friday. Um, usually it's just me at home and you know, I'm kind of, I'm getting the hang of it. I'm going to be making cupcakes for Easter. I'm very excited about that. And I just feel like our kitchen is very small. We don't have a lot of like um, counter space. And I'm hoping when we get a house, we get kind of like a bigger kitchen kind of thing. And I would love to just have a bit like a larger kitchen where I can like bake because I like to bake. I just, we just don't have the room for it. And for some reason in my head, I'm like, oh, I don't want to do it because there's no room. <laughs> It's weird, but back into the Gimme Butterflies palette from ColourPop. Oh my god, I love this. Am I going into the shade Winged? This nice, light pink. And these are so soft. I love the texture of these. I think this might be one of my favorite shadow like formulas. Are ColourPop shadows or BH Cosmetics shadows. I mean, I feel like every formula kind of has their own hit and miss, but like, look how that just pats on the lid. Like, I don't have any issues, and you, if you have watched my videos in the past, you know that I've had issues before. Just a little wash of something on the lid, and maybe this isn't necessarily something you'd wear to a family gathering or, you know, anything like that, but I just like to do something inspired by the colors of Easter. I pulled out a couple liquid glitter shadows and I really want to use them. The first one is this Little White Lies liquid eyeshadow from Stila. Um, it's like, has like a mint reflect to it and I thought that'd be so beautiful on the lower lash line. So I'm gonna put a little bit in here because we can't not use some glitter. But look how like reflective green that is. In the container, it's like white. I love that effect. I just think that's so cool. And it's just, I don't know, I like doing this kind of thing. And I also wanna add something on the top. I have two of them. And I'm just gonna kinda swatch them, just kinda compare, see which one is better fit for my eyeshadow needs. Let's see. I'd say the top one. This is the, I'm pretty sure I got this in a BoxyCharm, but this is the Ciate London Eye Luster Creme Eyeshadow in the shade what? Does it not have a name? It doesn't have a name. I think I remember it being like Valentine or something like that. I don't remember. But it's got a nice little bit of like a gold reflect, and this pink has a little bit of gold too. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to put some on the on my fingertip. Make sure your hands are sanitized or freshly washed. I prefer to wash my hands over using sanitizer just because sanitizer has a ton of alcohol in it and my hands already get dried on enough from washing my hands. So, and I'm just gonna put this a little bit on the lid. I'm just kind of, I'm putting it towards the center of the lid just for a little extra like brightness. There we go. Another thing I've been doing during this whole thing 
is watching <laughs> SNL on um, on Hulu. I love that show. I've been a fan of it for a while and we don't have like cable TV because it's just so expensive and we only would use like certain channels. And so for us, it's just kind of like, we'd rather just use Hulu and stuff. And we actually did, we actually found like, there's tons of seasons of Saturday Night Live. And I've already seen like the YouTube clips and I'm like, oh my God, they're so funny. And watching the whole thing is just so fun. So we're gonna go in with some mascara now. Too Faced Better Than Sex Mascara. It's where it's at, it really is. I do have a little bit of smudging on this eye. The brush touched the eyeshadow. It's okay though, we're just gonna move on. Sorry if the lighting is changing during this video. I really do apologize. I'm going. I'm on a ColourPop kick right now. So we're gonna go with the Disney Designer lipstick in the shade Ariel, which is a nice nude. Always great. A good nude. I think just a classic nude like this just ties in any look. I'm going in the Laura Geller gloss, I think. Just kind of put on the top. This is Diamond Dust. It's a this is a color luster lip gloss. Mm, it's not as pigmented as I'd like it to be. I just wanted a little bit of like a little bit blue purple kind of reflect to it, and I'm not getting that. What if I did? I'm just gonna try another one on top because who cares? I'm using a Fenty Diamond, I'm um, not Diamond Bomb, Gloss Bomb. Oh my gosh. I'm thinking the highlighter, which is so good. This has, this is from the Holiday Collection, but this has kind of like a bluish purple gold reflect. And I'm going to try a different way. So I'm going to put it on my finger. Let's get a nice old glob on there. If you have not tried this, it's really good. Oh yeah, there we go. There we go. Oh yes, okay, we're in business now, okay? <laughs> it's subtle, but it's there, and that's what I really like about it. And this is called confetti, if I have not said that already. Already confetti. So I have makeup all over my hands, as usual. I feel like after a video like this, I usually will have a ton of makeup over, all over my hands and whatnot. But that is it for today's video. I hope you enjoyed. If you have not already, subscribe, ring the bell, and give me a thumbs up. It means so much to me when you do. Um, check the description box. I always list videos, usually a lot of them, the makeup that I used, as well as social media. So my Instagram, my Pinterest, and now my dog's TikTok. Let me know what you'd like to see next. I am more than happy to upload more than five times a week. You just have to let me know what you want to see. And I will most likely do it. Usually if it's in my collection, I will do it. I'm trying not to buy too many things right now just because of everything going on. Thank you for watching and I will see you in my next video. Bye!